when i say a process i'll put on a piece of music i will guide you through a visualization i would request all of you to close your eyes and sit down in a quiet place and allow what i say to guide your journey in your mind and in your heart it's a small process not a very big process but this process will form the base of the rest of the life lessons so may i request all of you to close your eyes sit with your body rock still when a human being is born he is born very helpless compared to all the other offsprings which are born to different species probably the most helpless is a human being the giraffe gives birth to its baby and the delivery is made with the giraffe's mother standing and the child literally falls onto earth from a height of about 6 feet it quickly scrambles to its feet within a matter of 10 minutes it stands on its own feet nudges the legs of the mother to say i am all okay a penguin gives birth to its child and in the penguin colony there are lakhs of penguins the parents go to hunt for fish in the ocean while the baby penguin stands on the block of ice and as the parents come and stand in a place among the lakhs of penguins the baby penguin finds its parents opens the mouth for food a cow gives birth to its calf the calf comes out of the womb on to earth and in the matter of a few minutes finds the udders of the cow instinctively knows it has to drink milk from there and starts sucking almost every species in nature has a child who's born very intelligent by design a human child when is born is blank and not very smart it is helpless it does not know from where it will get its food and it cries it does not know how to move about and it cries by birth it feels insecure somebody has to take the child in their hands hug the child for the child to feel comfort 
somebody has to take the child if it's the mother she takes the child to her bosom offers her breast milk to the child sometimes the child does not understand this is where i'll get my milk and the mother has to force her nipple inside the mouth of the child and then the child as it tastes a drop or two of the milk it understands this is taste and starts drinking but after drinking is over again it is insecure by nature when we are born we are insecure we are completely dependent on somebody to take care of us we are completely dependent on somebody for our food we are completely dependent on many people to teach us and since we find that we are so dependent on others our insecurity remains as insecurities and we do not outgrow them for a little while in today's life lesson we'll discuss about the role of these insecurities in our life as we attempt to implement glad man and glad woman but for the time being to outgrow our insecurities let's do a chanting and let's go deeper into the process any person who is willing to take responsibility for their life will be able to conquer every insecurity three of my favorite lines always guides me to take complete responsibility for my life and today we'll be doing chanting on these three lines those of you who have been with me for a while you would have chanted these lines every now and then in life lessons we do it at least once in 3 months but the more we do it the better it is even if you have heard me speak on this listen as if you are listening for the first time and you will find new meaning in what you already know India is a country which has valued knowledge very highly very highly it is also a country which values responsibilities very highly that is why we have stories of abhimanyu sacrificing his life for a sense of responsibility shravan kumar carrying his blind parents from a sense of responsibility savitri bringing back her husband 
from the jaws of death, from the hands of Yamraj, a sense of responsibility. Our country has so many stories about people who lived with a tremendous sense of responsibility. And that sense of responsibility is your tool to overcome your insecurities and to help you in overcoming your insecurities let's chant these three lines almost in every educational institute of our country these lines are there either in the school diary or in the plaque right at the entrance of the institution Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya I will share with you my take on these lines I'll explain the line once then we'll do the chanting a few times. Then I'll explain the second line once and we'll do the chanting a few times. Third line once and the chanting a few times. Complete it with the chanting of Om, Om Shanti. And then do the chanting without any explanation. So let's begin. Om Asato Ma Sadgamaya is the first line. Om is the call to existence. To any power that may be. And say, Asato Ma Sadgamaya. Give me the strength and the serenity. To remove all the lies which is there in my head and help me to move towards the truth. Asatya, asato ma, sad gamaya, sad, the truth. Gamaya, of course, means to go. So from lies, Move me to truth is what Asatoma Sadgamaya is all about. What are the lines? What are the lies that they are referring to? I am not capable. I am not good enough. I can't manage my emotions. I don't think I can succeed. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to overcome the present challenges in my life. All of these are lies. Because I don't have a good father, I will not do well in life. Because my mother is not educated, I can't do well in life. Because I come from a poor family, I don't have a future. Because I don't have money, I can't something start something meaningful. All of these statements are lies. Because there are many people who had similar states, but they have gone on to live an exceptional life. So if I believe because I am not educated, I can't make it big in life. It's a lie that I'm telling to myself. And a lie which gives me the license to escape from responsibility. So the first line is, Asatoma Sadgamaya. Let's chant this line now. 
allow me to chant once allow me to lead you in the chanting i will chant the whole line the moment i complete the chanting take a deep inhalation from there and along with the exhalation do the chanting so i repeat i will chant it once listen as if i am chanting on your behalf make a mental recording of how i am chanting the moment i complete the chanting take a deep inhalation and along with exhalation do the chanting so let's begin ओम सतो मा सदगमय नाउ डू द चैंटिंग believing in these words do the chanting as if this chant is going to become the anchor of your life don't just say the words feel the words instruct your mind to hook on to these words become one with this phrase and may your life be a living example of this line Let's do it again. Om Sato Ma Sad Ga Ma Ya. Let's do it again, same way. Allow me to chant once. When I complete, start a deep inhalation and along with exhalation, do the chanting. Om Sato Ma Sad Ga Ma Ya. for the final time in this time let's chant the line again o ma sato ma sad ga ma ya thank you now let's move to the second line it's a beautiful line which says om tamaso ma jyotirgamaya now what does they what do they mean tamas is darkness jyoti is that light the smallest of jyoti defeats the biggest of darkness the smallest of sparks can light the biggest of forest fires There are times in our life when we will believe and feel that everything is dark around. For some things are going wrong. In those times we feel like giving up because we can't see anything. 
And if he can't see anything, there is no beauty, there are no possibilities. These are dark phases of life. The truth is, after every night, there is a morning. So the line is, Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Take me from darkness to light. What is the darkness which engulfs us and makes us give up? Our sadness, our fear, our failures, somebody ridiculing us, somebody giving up on us, Somebody not valuing us for who we are or what we do. And all of this creates darkness in our life. In the womb of our mother, we were in complete darkness. But in darkness, we developed from one cell to one complete human being. They say in olden times, when we used to have these cameras with reels, to develop the reels, we had to go to a dark room. The dark rooms where negatives got developed into positives. We are meant to thrive even when there is darkness. You and me are meant to conquer every darkness of our life. And that's why this line is so beautiful and so powerful. Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya and my thinking is, every time I'm in a dark phase of life, I believe the best of my life is just ahead of me. All I need to do is conquer this darkness. And there will be light, delight and brightness all around me. So let's chant the line. As usual, allow me to please complete the line. When I complete, take a deep inhalation and along with exhalation, do the chanting. Om Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya What a beautiful line it is, isn't it? And imagine if you can chant this line with a smile on your face. Almost as if telling the darkness, you come, that's your job. But I'm meant to conquer you and I will conquer you. And thank you for coming because once I have conquered the darkness, I become a much better, much more powerful human being much more empathetic person because now I'll understand when everybody else goes through darkness sometimes all I need to do is hold my hand out and pull the other person out from there but no darkness is supposed to defeat any human being let's do the chanting of this line again allow me to chant I complete the chanting take a deep inhalation and along with the exhalation do the chanting Om Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Om 
let's do the chanting for the final time this way om tamaso ma jyotirgamaya And now the final line. Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya. When I tell myself lies, my self-belief goes for a toss. When I'm surrounded by darkness, my potentials get buried completely and destroyed. And what does these do? That which I am born for, that which is the purpose of my life, that which is beautiful within me, that which is a miracle inside me, all of them die. The way I could have lived my life, my dreams, my impact on this planet, all these possibilities die. And my prayer to my Creator is, O oh Mother Creator, Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya, all these things which actually gives me life, for which the Creator has created me, all this which gives my life a meaning, for which the Creator has created me because of the first two lies and darkness I forget it and I allow it to die away so my prayer is Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya don't just keep it alive make it immortal give it Amrit Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya these, these beautiful dreams, the purpose of my life, the meaning, the impact, the joy, the sense of responsibility, the sense of wonder, all of this which makes me a human being, may they be immortal inside me, may nothing damage them or destroy them. And this is my prayer to my creator, Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya. From death, take it to immortality. Let's chant this line together. What a powerful line. Om Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya Let's do the line again. Om Mrityoma Amritam Gamaya And to complete these three lines, the chanting is of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. The word Shanti is not just peace. The word Shanti is extremely deep. It also means gratitude. For without that, how will there be peace? It also means egolessness. For in the presence of ego, how can there be peace? It also means acceptance. For without acceptance, how can there be peace? It also meaning, means belief in my dreams. For if I don't believe in my dream and my existence, how will there be peace? It also means faith in the Creator. 
But if I don't have faith in him, the slightest obstacle in my life will shake me up. If I don't have faith, how will there be peace? In our country, in our culture, after most chantings and most pujas and most havan, they remind us about shanti and peace. So that arrogance does not become a part of our life and insecurities are thrown away as far as possible. You know, imagine somebody doing a havan and becoming arrogant because they have done the havan. Others have not. There is no shanti then. Arrogance and peace cannot be together. So shanti is like a shield against everything negative and an entry point to everything beautiful, wonderful and positive. So let's complete this chanting with an invocation, a reminder to ourselves and an appeal to the Creator, fill me with peace, fill every cell of my body with peace. So allow me to do the chanting first and as usual, after I complete, take a deep inhalation and along with the exhalation, do the chanting. Om Shanti 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 Now saying Shanti three times has many connotations. In Hinduism, there are trinity of gods. So is it there in Christianity. God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. And to each one of them, I am appealing for Shanti. They also say there are actually three directions. The heavens, the hell and the person in between. Let there be Shanti in all those three places. Anything in nature has three dimensions. Let every dimension be filled with peace. So let's chant that line again as if you are appealing to existence that fill every space within me with peace, every cell of my being with peace and then open your body open your mind open your heart visualizing peace from all over existence coming and surrounding you and filling you with it om shanti 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 Beautiful. Now one by one, let's take a line and let's complete this chanting one line at a time. So I will say one line, you repeat after me. I say the second line, you repeat after me. I say the third line, you repeat after me. I say the fourth line of Shanti, you repeat after me. Then we stay for about 30 seconds, body rock still and absolutely blissful. And then we say it again and then we say it again. Let's do this three times. Om Satoma Sadgamaya Om Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Oh. 
मृत्योमा अमृत गमय शांति 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 सतो मा सदगमय ओ तमसो ज्योते गमय मृत्योमा अमृत गमय शांति 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 let's do it for the final time this morning do it with complete surrender and complete conviction and it will create a change in you o masato ma sadgamaya सोमा ज्योते गमय ओ अमृत गमय ओ शांति 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 स्प्रेड योर आर्म्स वाइड फिंगर्स ओपन 
your palms facing the skies. Visualize peace that was waiting for a million years. Searching for the right person to be with. Has heard your call. And is flowing towards you. Open yourself to receive this peace. And allow this peace to settle in every cell of your body. Fold your hands in a namaste, bow down in gratitude. 